nice. You could potentially say that this man, our next guest, has had this week circled on his calendar maybe for, oh, I don't know, your entire <laughs> your life. Your whole life, maybe? <laughs> right. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Grew up in Pittsburgh, Ward Stair, now music director for the RPO. You've traveled all around the world, mm -hmm. and now you're back here, home. You've been back here for a few months, but yep. now you get to say, all right, this is my season, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is what I want to do. That's right. It's, it's a day that we've all been waiting for for quite a while, ever since it was planned and, and even before, but it's all kicking off uh, Thursday night, 7.30, Saturday at 8 p.m., and uh, we've really got a fantastic season for everyone, and it kicks off this week. So. That's great. So Thursday yeah. night, what, um, you know, how do you choose what music you're going to play on that first night? Uh, that's got to be so difficult, right? It is, you know, when, when we're programming it, there's a lot of things that come into consideration. But for this opening program, I really wanted to feature the orchestra. So I've intentionally, there's no soloist, it's just four amazing pieces that the orchestra will be performing. Uh, and two of them are really, really familiar, actually. I think a lot of people will recognize them. The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Dukas, Stop. which of course was featured, you know, Mickey Mouse, Disney, oh, the whole nice. thing. Nice. Um, and Barber's Adagio, which has been used in a, a million different, uh, yes. different ways, you know, in Platoon and all sorts yes. of different and things and hearing it live is really amazing you know I was thinking uh, a couple days ago about the barber because when it was the world premiere was actually recorded live because it was done by Toscanini and the NBC orchestra so we have that very first performance and can you imagine having the first performance yeah. of a Beethoven or a Mozart symphony that's, wow. yeah, that's but we incredible. have it and ever since then it's been recorded so much that you can see the wide variety in different performances specifically the time the very first performance was about seven minutes long with Toscanini, and the longest one that I've ever come across was Leonard Slatkin in London, uh, right on right after 9/11 when he did it at the Proms, oh, yeah. which was ten and a half minutes. How does it get wow. that long? Yeah. Is it there's a, is there more improvising or? Well, uh, that's that's the thing. That's the interpretation element okay. of it. So, you know, when you you're dealing with live music, there are so many different ways to perform it, mm -hmm. and so I mean. Seven minutes to ten and a half minutes. That's it's the longest is fifty percent longer yeah. than the, the original, and so that gives you an idea of how much it can go on okay. and, and how much it can vary. Um, so, and Sorcerer's Apprentice is a similar thing because when Stokowski was conducting it for Disney, they told him he had to get it in under ten minutes, but the piece is supposed to be eleven or twelve. Wow! So he had to make some cuts and he had to do some crazy things with the orchestra. Most people don't realize this. So when you hear it live this week in Rochester, I was say how long is it going to be? Well, is it going to be more uh, true to the original? Eleven, twelve. Yeah, okay. exactly. But you'll, you'll recognize those little snippets okay. from, from the Stokowski, and you'll say, wow, okay, but that sounded a little different, and you're right, it is. So this is 7, uh, what time is the show on 7 Thursday? 7.30 on Thursday 7 night. 7.30, and yeah. then on Saturday, you said, right? It's There's 8 p.m. It's yeah. at 8 p.m., mm -hmm. okay. Wow, that's incredible. And the incredible. Pines of Rome closes it out, and that's just a, it's yeah. a sonic feast for the audience, yeah. and you can just bathe in this, this color and this amazing texture in the orchestra. The it's Pines really of exciting. Rome, wow. And can you mention maybe two more, I mean, there's several other shows coming up, but maybe two more that you're most excited about. Well, we have uh, Sibelius Second Symphony, the first weekend in October is our second Philharmonics. And we have two great Strauss weeks coming up in the middle of the season, and um, you know, it's just it's one great thing after another. I have to say. Yeah, when you're season. planning this, do you do you to, do you want to have themes, or do you just sort of say? I really want to hear this, or I would love to see how the RPO does this it's as the director. How it's a combination of both things. I think uh, you want a sort of a common thread going through, and this year my common thread is putting something on every program that the audience will recognize and be familiar with. Okay. Something new for oh, them. Okay. And, uh, you know, something that's going to challenge them a little bit, but they'll be pleasantly surprised. So oh, it's I like sort of a, a mix of everything. And it's a good way for everyone to sort of get to know this orchestra because it's one of the best orchestras anywhere and it's right here in Rochester. It's class act. And yeah. that's what you're all about too, saying, okay, everyone, maybe you've heard of us. Maybe you haven't actually heard us though. Right, exactly. But whether you know a lot or a little, come on in, right? Come on in, come on in. And this week is a perfect time to do it with all these great pieces on the program. That's wonderful. Tickets available for all the shows still, yep. right? Yep. Okay, where can people get those tickets? They're going fast though, so yeah. sign oh. up now. Uh, yeah. www.rpo.org is the best place to go and the number for the box office is on there as well. So. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Ward, thank you and congratulations. Thank yes. you very much. Yay. Great to be here. Wonderful to have you in studio. We thank can't you. wait to hear how everything went this week. Thanks. All right. All right, all right coming up from uh, instrumentalists to singers, Spectrum Creative Arts is Recruiting for a new community vocal group, the director of Rochester Vox is here next with details on auditions and the team's debut.